What we're going to do here is show how to take a conductivity uh, test. This is um, <clears throat> soil conductivity correlates uh, very nicely with um, mineral availability. Uh, effectively, um, what gives you a reading are ions in solution, whether they're cations or anions, whether they're sophisticated compounds or simple, simple um, single um, elements. Um, the electrical conductivity reading will tell you effectively how many minerals are moving around in solution right now uh, for the plant. I liken that to the uh, sort of caloric uh, availability. If we say that the average you know, adult needs 2,000 calories per day, um, the conductivity meter can effectively tell you whether my plants are getting a 2,000 calories or whether they only are getting 500 or whether they have 3,000 available. Um, so uh, this is a, this is a, a probe meter um, uh, made by Hanna. Um, so I think it's a DIST-3. Um, you remember how much that one is? This is about $125 or so. Um, <clears throat> and this is a very valuable tool to be using on a regular basis. I recommend for the people, some people are technologically oriented, other people are not. If you're not that kind of person, don't worry about it. But if you are that kind of person, this is a very valuable tool for um, monitoring uh, nutrient availability, energy availability through the entire growing season. The, the, the process itself is very simple. You simply, uh, in this case, push the on button, put it in the ground, and read the meeting, re reading. It's that simple. Um, and then you can pick it up and go to the next bed or go to the next crop. Um, and if you had a spreadsheet where you could notate what your, what your readings are, you could watch that progression over time. Um, some meters are a little more sophisticated, uh, or a little more complicated. Um, it, it, it takes more work to get a reading. I really like this meter because of the probe on it. Um, uh, sometimes people have the experience where if the soil is too dry, they won't get a reading. Um, if your soil is too dry to get a reading, that means your soil is too dry for minerals to be in solution. That is a, a critical issue and needs to be addressed immediately if you want to maintain high levels of vitality in your plants. So um, if the only way to get you out into the field to check and see whether the soil is dry enough is to take a conductivity reading, then get a conductivity meter because maintaining hydration is a key uh, component for vitality through the entire system and oftentimes is a limiting factor. That is a nice meter. I have one that also does pH, but I have to mix it, take the soil, mix it with water and do it that yeah. way, so it takes a lot longer. <clears throat> yeah, this now, does t temperature as well. Okay, yeah. what, um, so what kind of decisions would you make based on the feedback you get from it? Um, generally, so for instance, if the soil is too dry to get a reading, then my decision would be to irrigate. Mm -hmm. um, uh, generally, if I have, if I have, my readings are, are moving uh, gradually up through the season, then I won't do anything. That means things are going well, I don't need to worry about it. Uh, if it seems that if there's moisture in the soil and I, my readings are plateauing or going down, then that means to me that there's some limiting factor functional in the biological system functioning and that needs to be addressed. Whether that's calcium or potassium or um, cobalt, it could be any number of things. Um, but basically a, a conductivity meter reading that's plateauing or decreasing uh, is, a, is a red light you know, a warning bell saying that the system um, may look fine right now, the leaves may look fine, but underground uh, something's not going right. And if I don't address it now, um, that'll be a systemic problem probably in the near future, you know, one to two weeks. And I guess you could, you would use this in conjunction with maybe your weak acid soil test or any soil tests to, uh, you might do this more often, but with from the soil test you might know what you need to add to fix things. Certainly. Yeah. Uh, this is, I mean, the thing about this meter is you can go and test, um, you know, 30 different spots in an hour yeah. and it costs you the cost of the meter. And you can do that same thing next week and the week after that. And when you do soil tests, they're $25 per sample. Yeah. So they, the cost rapidly, uh, you know, um, becomes a factor. With the meter, once, you, once you've got it, all you need to do is replace the batteries every now and then. Um, and it can give you a, a good idea of where things are going fine and where you need to give extra attention and energy.